Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, a lot of you, when I was showing where the sweet spot of the racket is, said, hey, how about doing it on Coach Goo's racket? Oh, great idea. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are going to stencil up Coach Andrew Goo's racket right here. All right, so it's strong with Selenko Confidential, 57 pounds. Since it is dark gray to black, putting red on here is probably not going to work. Putting black on here is probably not going to work. So I got white stencil ink, white stencil ink that I'm going to put all over this head. All right, so I'm going to, got my Sunday paper coupons here. I'm going to put the racket on top. So I don't stain up this table. Shook up my stencil ink. Dab it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start here and start whitening it up. I guess you use white paint. I don't think Coach Goo's going to head down here at all, so I'm not going to leave that last line alone so I can put a, a damper in there. He's not going to hit the edge as much. I know, I can tell you that already. White as, that's probably as white as we're going to get. Okay. So that's it. We whited out Coach Goo's racket. And we're going to go have him play with it. All right. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're on the court. Coach Goo just hit a set with this stenciled out racket in the white ink. I will post that on the bottom, uh, link that on the bottom for you. Um, Coach Goo, let's take a look at that racket that you just used up. Whoa, that's, I can understand, I can understand up here in the here, mm -hmm. but then down here is what I'm a little interested at. Yeah. So, Goo, can you explain what you do? Um, so, for me, uh, this is on the backhand side. So, majority of the time, I try to hit here, which is, you know, your strike zone out of front. And then when it gets a little closer, sometimes during the matches, I tend to get jammed in a little bit. So, it goes a little bit this way. But my goal overall is trying to hit the ball over here is because, one, it shows that you're, you're giving enough space. Two, I'm hitting with a little more spin. So therefore, I'm hitting the ball in front of me. So when I brush, I brush, sorry, let's see. I brush more through. So when I come around in front, 
I try to take the ball early in front of me and cover through this way more. And you can tell I shanked a few balls here a little bit, kind of, like around here. But most of the time, if I'm hitting around here, this means I'm hitting with topspin because my grip is a little funny. Got like some of my So, Coach Goo holds it only one way, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So, Yonex facing up yes. is how he holds it. So, I hold it this way. Because the other side says 95. Yep. Okay. So Yonix facing up. Mm -hmm. That's why you see this wear pattern. Yep. That's why you don't see any wear pattern on this side. Mm -hmm. On this side. And that's why we're gonna flip it. Right. So in the foot, uh, you flip it. This is the backhand side for me. So if you want to take a closer look, my goal is trying to hit it here. I mean, there is some wear and tear. I don't know if they can see it, but it's. I try to aim here, and all the way through here. It's just because. That's how much space you want to give yourself, but also that's how much spin I want to drive. So sometimes I change my grip a little bit to get a little more spin, to get around the ball a little more. Um, that's why I pocket around these areas as much as I possibly can. Perfect. So, you, can you guys see that? There? It's kind of like a little diagonal. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, we can do that as goo stencil, okay? <laughs> the goo stencil. All right, so. That's that's really interesting though. Like you guys wanted to see that, and I I was interested in it too. So um, as you can see, it's actually very consistent. You don't see mm -hmm. hardly anything on this side, right? Pretty much an empty slate here. All the wear is right there. And mm -hmm. Coach Gu just explained to you um, why it's like that. Now you guys should actually try this yourself and see what your wear pattern is, and see if it's similar to Coach Goose, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing this. Of I'm course. glad you did this um, experiment with me. Of course, um, anytime. Yeah, Coach Goose, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting that content there as well. All right, so thank you for doing this again. Of course. I'm still interested in this pattern. You can take a look at it later if you need to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, I'm gonna take a picture of it. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin, on your tennis.